Hi, and welcome to our thought for the day today. I'd love to ask you what God has been saying to you during lockdown. I wonder if you'd put it in the comments below or if you would send me an email. I would just love to hear how you've been listening to God and finding out what is God's will for you um, in this time. And that's related to another bigger question, really. And that is, um, what is Jesus calling you to do in this place, in this time right now? Now, I don't know about you, but I found the last few weeks and months quite overwhelming. So much has happened, so much has changed. And um, it seems like the world is changed forever. Um, and in some ways that's for worse and in some ways that's for better. But throughout all of that, I know it's true that God has been consistent and faithful in his love for us. And I think that he still speaks into our lives today. And so I've been trying to work out for myself what God has been saying. And I'd like to share that. I've been reminded recently of that verse which talks about, you know, when we have to think about today because tomorrow has troubles of its own. That has been a reminder that God's been putting on my heart in these last few days because I've been trying to plan the unplannable. I've been trying to um, have ideas and inspiration of ways for going forward. I've been trying to consider what might happen um, in this time when we're not being ordained um, until much later than expected. So um, for me, I won't be priested, perhaps um, even later than September, who knows? And so I find myself in this frustrating place where there's so many things that I had expected, so many things I'd wanted to achieve or to see. And God was here reminding me again that we have today and that we have this moment um, and this is the time to be pressing into God and to be listening carefully. So I'm still in that time of listening, but I do know that God is with me and that God will speak should I be willing to listen. So I just want to spend this time now um, praying over you all and um, into each of our lives that question, that request that we seek of God, that he would speak to us and we would hear those plans that he has already laid out for each of us. They are good. We know that they are good because God is good. They are centred on love and we know that because God is love. And they bring justice and freedom because those are the things that are part of God's heart. They are the things that are on God's heart. So let's spend this time in prayer together. Holy Spirit, would you open our eyes to see your ways? Would you speak to us now? Would you tell us what it is that you want us to do in this day? God, we know that time is short for each of us, that we are just like the flower that blooms in a field and that will wilt and be gone in time. And in some ways, Lord God, this makes us want to hurry and to rush at all the things we could possibly do, but we listen to you and we listen to your voice, that calm, quiet voice that stills our hearts and speaks truth and love. And we know, God, that it's your will that needs to be done. So we pray together. And we ask for this benefice, for this circuit, for each and every home in these towns and villages, for each and every person who reaches out to you today. God, would you speak into our lives? And would we have ears to hear? Would we have eyes to see? Would we have hearts that are, that are open to your will? And we pray boldly. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope today is full of God's
this word spoken clearly to you and I look forward to reading all about it.